Welcome back everybody into this new video of Taxpress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started connecting a Google domain directly into the Shopify store. So first of all, what I need to do is to log in directly into my Google domain account and domains.google.com. Now, if I open a new tab, go for domains.google.com, this what you'd be prompted me to send me into the Google domains. Since the second week of September in 2023, the Squarespace acquired all the domains registration and related customer account for the Google domains. That means that if you have purchased a Google domain and you would like to connect this Google domain directly into your store, we needed to make the migration uh, to the Squarespace domain. So if you already have a domain, this domain from Google domains is now appearing into Squarespace domains. So what you need to do is to hit now and to log in directly into Squarespace and create an actual account. So usually you can log into the Squarespace using your Google account and you should be seeing your, that your domain that you have purchased with Google automatically has now been migrated directly into Squarespace. Now to make the connection between this new Squarespace domain and directly into your actual store, what I need to do is to go directly into the option that says manage your domain and navigate directly into the C and DNS settings. Now, for some reason, my domain is not appearing uh, there. So I wanted to make sure that here I have this domain. For example, I select this domain and I go for manage the domain settings. Into manage the domain settings of the Squarespace, I'm gonna just leave this as it is so I can have access to the DNS records. So the DNS records can be helping me to make the connection between the hoster, the place where I have purchased my domain, and directly into the store which you want to uh, get started in. So I'm gonna go here and open a new tab. And open a new tab, let's go directly into my Shopify store. If you don't have a Shopify store, you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna leave you the link down below in the description to have a free trial and then having a great, great deal directly into Squarespace. And of course, into Shopify. So once you are signed in directly into the Shopify, you might be happy that you now have access directly into the dashboard. Now into the dashboard, let's go and focus into settings. Into settings, let's locate this element that says domains. Into domains, I'm gonna click here and focus into connect an existing domain. Now into connect an existing domain, I need to paste the domain that we have just purchased. So in this case, it should be this one. So I copy all of this domain name. Uh, you can choose whatever you wanted to. Let's go back and check out my domain list, which is exana.store, and I go for exana.store and go for next. Now, as you can see, we have to follow the setting instructions. So if you click directly into the upper side, it says follow the setting instructions. This one should be sending you into a new block section of Shopify so you can make the connection between your store and the actual domain list. These are the current VNS records that I'm seeing directly into my Squarespace domain. So what I need to do is to re replace these domains with the new element of the Shopify. So if I hit into verify connection, usually it says that the domain connection has now been incompleted. So I wanted to make sure that I have the connection of my store and the connection type of it. So let's reload the page and make sure that I have now access directly into the third party connection domain. So if I go here where it says to verify the ownership or connecting your third party domain manually, I'm gonna click it in here. And now as you can see, I have now these records. So what I need to do is to copy these records and add them directly into Shopify. So if I hit now into view, you should see that your store has not been configured properly. So let's go back here. I select the domain that I would like to make the connection for and go for advanced DNS. Into the advanced DNS, you want to make sure that you have the A record. I'm gonna hit into automatic and this should be the actual value. The same thing happens for the C name record. So hit into add new record and go for a C name record triple w and shops my shopify.com once you have done this process let's go here into save once you have saved all of this elements you can go back into shopify and reload the page once you have reloaded the page your now domain has now been successfully added directly into the shopify 
request. Shopify will automatically detect the DNS settings you configured into the now square space. If everything looks good, click the into verify connection. Now in here, if I clicked into my domain, you see that I don't have any issue here. So that means that I just have the double SL pending. So once verified, you can make sure the domain type appears as primary domain in order to have any changes and make sure everything looks great. So I'm going to close this and just wait even a few days up to 48 hours to make sure that my connection between the Shopify and my now scores piece domain has now been successfully done. And well guys, that is how we can actually connect my Google domain directly into the Shopify. Remember that the Google domains are no longer existing and everything is not been appearing into the Squares paste domains. So take that in mind before you want to add a domain from Google. So guys, if you find the story helpful, please like the video, subscribe to TaxPress and hit that notification bell for more step-by-step -step guides. Thank you once again for watching the video guys. Hopefully we can see you next time.